AP CRAM Calculus AB Free Response Exam Review Question 10 Derivative of a Cubic Function Alright, so Johanna jogs along a straight path for a time in minutes that's either greater than or equivalent to zero minutes or less than or equivalent to 40 minutes. Johanna's velocity is given by a differentiable function v. Selected values of v of t, where t is measured in minutes, and v of t is measured in meters per minute are given in the table above. So here go selected values of t and their corresponding selected values of v of t. Bob is riding his bicycle along the same path um, for a time duration of t between 0 and 10 minutes. Bob's velocity is modeled by v of t is equivalent to t cubed minus 6t squared plus 300. Notice that we're given a modeled equation for Bob, whereas we're given selected values for Johanna where t is measured in minutes, and b of t is also measured in meters per minute. So we're given Bob's velocity, okay? If we input a time t, we're going to be given his velocity. And the times that we're allowed to put in where this model will hold true are times between 0 and 10, and 10 minutes inclusive, meaning you can put in 0 or um, 10 minutes as well, okay? Find Bob's acceleration at time t is equivalent to 5. So the key here is to think about how we can figure out the acceleration given the information we have here in the model function, b of t. I'll give you a moment to think. All right, so in order to figure out Bob's acceleration, we don't necessarily need any information about Johanna. That's extraneous information. All the information we need to know to figure out the acceleration is contained here in the model or the function b of t. Since um, b of t outputs Bob's um, um, meters per minute, that's velocity, acceleration is the change in velocity or we can just take the first derivative of b of t to figure out the change in velocity, okay, from minute to minute. We'll come up with a general function for the velocity between times 0 and 10 minutes, and then we're going to plug in um, an exact value of t equals 5 minutes. In case you forgot how to do a derivative um, in your calculator, or just in general, if you want to know how to do it in general, this is a pretty straightforward derivative. So we're going to um, do the derivative with respect to t. This is just an aside for those of you who forgot. I rearranged the equation just because this is the way I like it in um, order of ascending powers. So 300 minus 6t squared plus t to the third power. Okay. So now we're going to differentiate each term. Um, so we're differentiating term by term and we're factoring out constants. Okay, so the derivative of a constant with respect to time is just going to be zero. There's no change because it's not being affected by a time dimension. And if we use the power rule and we um, bring down the two, we're left with negative uh, 12t, and if we use the power rule for this term, bring down the 3, and uh, we have to do n minus 1, where n equals 3, so that's gonna, going to be 3t to the second power, okay? So Bob's acceleration, or um, b prime of t, is going to be 3t squared minus 12t, all right? And if we plug in 5, we get 3 times 5 squared, which is 25, minus 12 times 5, and that's 75 minus 60, which is going to give us um, 15 meters per minute squared. Some people are not comfortable seeing a squared time dimension, but whenever you have a squared time dimension in a unit of travel in the numerator, 
and the square time dimension is in the denominator, that's just basically an expression for some sort of acceleration. Okay? All right.